Now, a Harris County grand jury has declined to indict a man who is facing a capital murder charge. Chad Hawley was accused in the deadly shooting of this man, David Trejo Gonzalez, in September of last year. You may recall that Hawley made national news in 2010 when surveillance video captured Houston police officers kicking and beating him. This is a breaking news story that we've been following since 4 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, a community activist has been meeting with reporters. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joins us live with a look at both developments tonight. Brandon? Yeah, Bill, Quan LX has long stated that Chad Holly had nothing to do with that shooting death. Tonight, he continued that case, saying that Chad Holly was innocent, and there was evidence to prove that in the form of his ankle bracelet. Back in December, Chad Holly shook his head after hearing the case against them. As it stood then, he faced a capital murder charge, accused of shooting this man, 42-year-old David Trejo Gonzalez. Here's a look at that scene from September of last year on Houston's north side. Police arrested Holly and the DA charged him with capital murder. Then it was alleged Holly told a friend that he had shot someone over a drug debt. That friend, it was alleged, told police he saw Holly throw a gun into a dumpster. The same person pointed Holly out in a police lineup, which led to his arrest. That arrest and the confirmation of his identity today falling short. Any case where you have a, uh, a uh, case that is based on a witness saying, I saw this, everything boils down to with how, how you look at the credibility of that witness. Community activist Quan LX has stood behind Holly's claim that he was innocent since his arrest in December. When this first happened, I kept telling everybody, I've been around Chad Holly for years. I know this boy. He's not a killer. He's not a man that I believe will commit a violent crime. That's not his personality, his nature. That's not him. Yeah, something else Quan LX mentioned, and that was an ankle bracelet that uh, Holly had on his ankle because of uh, him, his being on probation. He spoke about that in December, saying that that GPS tracking device would have said where Holly was. Well, the district attorney's office today says that they looked into that, and it wasn't quite a GPS tracking system. What they say it did was only registered when Holly was home. So as they put it, this case, uh, excuse me, that tracking device did not hurt nor help the case against Chad Holly. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.